Okay, now that I'm done eating my microphone, hey everyone, Wanabot here, and welcome to The Messenger. So, I played this game back in September. <laughs> Poor live audience has to hear this twice. I played this back in September, and did it as a one-off, because it didn't, like, immediately speak to me, but apparently the game's a Metroidvania, which I didn't know at the time. And, uh, yeah, I am a huge Metroidvania fan. Uh, as evidenced by the many, many other Metroidvanias I've I've played over the years. Uh, Hollow Knight, I think chief among them, and now I've just been trying to find other good ones. And so, yeah, if this one's really good, I should probably play it. I'm going to delete this one, though, because uh, we're starting fresh, and I want to be in slot one just in case it matters. What is our name? Dude. As always. I might have to turn the music down. That might be a bit loud. For the light, yeah, that's definitely a bit loud for the live audience. Another day, and still no sign of this so-called Western hero. Training used to be fun, but all we do now is memorize boring prophecies. Demon army this, and magic scroll that. Nothing's happened in centuries. So why are we still hiding? I wish I could just leave this place and go explore the world. Gather around, everyone. History lesson is about to begin. Ah, oh, great. Another lecture. I guess I should at least show up this time. Yeah, I seem louder this time. Yeah, the microphone might be a little bit closer to my face as well. I can mess around. I guess I can actually go into the options. I'm going to turn it down just a smidge more as well. I had it at a third maximum volume, but I guess full volume on this game is something else, apparently. I don't know. Okay. Right on. Uh, right on time to try the new course. Show us your cloud step technique. Jump, hit, jump. I kind of vaguely remember this. Uh, let's see. We can't sword hop. Well, I guess we can sword hop. That's technically actually exactly what I'm doing right now. Well, look who decided to grace us with our presence. Uh, are you done your reading? Uh, ever the rebel. What's the point? All we do is rot in this hideout, hideout anyway. I see that the importance of our ancestors' wisdom is lost on you. But let me assure you that the threat of the demon army is very real. And should they show up right now, we'd well, be doomed. We're pretty doomed. They've returned! This is all wrong! The Western hero was supposed to save us. Watch out! Well, now that it's an emergency, time to get my training in. It's important. It's important. Okay, now that I've done that. What's up, scaredy pants? Don't go! You. You're not ready. And it's the same stuff as always. Well, onwards. No, oh, hi! Burn it all! Bring the humans to their knees! Not so fast, big boy. Oh, and who might you be? Uh, are you really all they've got? Uh, pathetic. Prepare to die. That sound impossible. It seems luck is with you this day. Barmathazel. Yes, my king. Keep an eye on this worm. Certainly, my king. Count your blessings, ninja. My minions will make short work of you in the autumn hills. Are you... the western hero? Something like that. To be honest, I got here way too late. As you look to be the most capable around here, I have a task of the most utmost importance to you. Or for you. Take this scroll and carry it across the island. You need to reach Glacial Peak Summit, where three sages will be waiting for you. But who are you? And why is this scroll important? You will find answers along the way. Head for the village gate now. The Shroud of Night will be your only protection to make it through the Autumn Hills. Godspeed, messenger. You got the scroll. You've been chosen to be the messenger. Carry, uh, tasked with 
carrying the scroll across your cursed world. We. As long as I hit, can I just keep dance jumping? I can. Well, that's kind of handy. I'll have to figure out how to cheese that one. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, this game is a gem. I loved it. I wish I had given it more of a shot. Just at the time, I, uh... I, at the time, I, I... I don't know. I just bounced. I bounced bad, too, which is... Which is sad, because, like, yeah, apparently it's great. Onwards! I am the messenger. I've got thing. I like... I like retro games like this. I wish it... I don't know. I guess not... I wish. Hi? Uh... And it is just nighttime. Wait. Everything was on fire and suddenly it's just not on fire anymore? I don't get... That is... That is some serious, like... Firefighting going on. The sun goes down, the fire's just like, well... We give up. Oh, did that lantern give me... I don't know, actually. I don't know. Usually when the sun goes down, fires do not go out. From my general experience. But I could be... Decently wrong in this. Can I duck? Okay. Yeah, here's the question. Okay. So I can't get behind him. Well, no, I can't get behind him, but he just turns around. Would have been pretty rad if I could, like, do tricks. I'm just gonna get myself killed here instead. Yeah, I think... I think my base reaction to this game was actually just that it was kind of a normal platformer. I... Man, I wish I had known that this was a Metroidvania going into it. There's just something really important about Metroidvanias for me that, like, regular platforms just miss. Ah, the messenger. I wasn't expecting you so soon. What is this place? This is the shop. It doesn't look like a shop. Do I look like a shopkeeper? Ugh. Anyways, so I'm this mystic character who will be mentoring and supporting you with your epic quest to save the world. All you need to do is take the scroll to the top of the faraway mountain where these three sages from my order will be waiting for you. Your order? Slow down. That was way too much text for one dialogue box. Look, just keep going eastwards and make sure you grab all the time shards you see lying around. I can use them to upgrade your abilities and artifacts. First one's on the house. Enjoy. Got the climbing claws. Oh, you can hit- you can hit projectiles with your katana. Okay, I'll pay attention to that. Press against walls while you're born to stick to them. Need anything? Chat. What do you want to chat about? Climbing claws. So, climbing claws. Oh yeah, you can press against walls to cling to them and climb at your leisure. Makes sense. The way everything looks, it just felt like I should be able to do that. Yes, that's why John Guyton invented them decades ago. Who's John Guyton? Never mind, just an anog- uh, uh, Just an acknowledgement, I need to get out of the way. I don't get it. Some will. What do you want to chat about? What is this place? Seriously though, where are we? Curious, are we? Well, in time you'll come to realize that the question is not where, but when. Huh. Ah. That's it? Listen, I know you're still new to this, but you have to be pretty naive to expect anything other than cryptic information. So early in your adventure. Huh. Wouldn't you... Um... Man, my voice cracked there. Wouldn't you rather just go back into the action anyway? Just buy a health upgrade or something and be on your way. Kids these days. What do you want to chat about? Do you have any stories to share? Of course. Here's one for you. There was once a servant who didn't know how to read. The day came when his master asked him to read something for her. To which he replied, I'm sorry, my lady, I can't read. That reply immediately got him fired. Oh. So he went out into the streets looking for a tea house to relax and accept the bad news. But he couldn't find any. He reckoned he, there, he probably wasn't the only one to wish there was a tea house in a small town. So he opened his own. It really picked up. So he built many more and became rich in the process. One day his accountant asked him to review a piece of a document. To which he replied he didn't know how to read. The accountant, who couldn't believe his ears, said, If you became a millionaire without knowing how to read... Just imagine where you would would be if you could read. Oh, I know exactly where I'd be. 
The rich man replied. I would be a servant. The end. Oh. What? I don't see how this applies to my adventure. It doesn't. You asked for a story. More like the long version of when life gives you lemons. All right, since you don't seem to appreciate me sharing some clever material for your next party, I suggest you move along. What do you want to chat about? Nothing. Upgrade. Okay, so I can afford not much. I could go more HP. Do I want to do that? Yes. Because I want to get uh, serendipitous bodies. Okay, so now we've got... Now we got this. Now... There's like certain parts of the environment that look like you can break into them or do something with. Yeah, okay, so I can just destroy projectiles. No, not these ones. I should just duck. What am I doing? Dying, really. That's that's the answer. Answer I should be going with. I'm not taking this as seriously as I should be. Oh. I gotta come from the other way. Hello. Wow, that's back up to full we go. And yeah, I'm probably just gonna Yeah, so I can destroy some of these. Yeah, I'm probably just going to uh just kind of blitz on ahead, at least for a little while. We can look into grinding for certain uh, bits of uh, certain bits of the time shards, I guess. Uh, grind for as many of those as we can later. Oh, damn it! Oh, we get stuck to the wall. Damn it! Well, the fireballs can just go through the environment. That's less than cool. Well, I guess I can get a little bit more. Oh no, this one doesn't have a portal. Okay, well that makes it easier. Yeah, I should have kept going. This game is is a lot more charming than I... <laughs> the sound... The music goes all underwatery. I love that. It also amuses me to no end that we just have like an oxygen tank. Oh, I see. The spiky ones can't be gripped onto. That makes a lot of sense. So this looks like Ninja Gaiden meets Castlevania. Uh, that is like a really accurate statement for what this game is. So yeah, bang on. Let's see. At least those guys aren't durable. I love it when games do that. The moment you get underwater, the music just changes to a, uh, a very, well, I guess just an underwater filter. What other games do that? A handful do. I've already made it farther than my first episode. In, like, half the time. I'm, oh, I must have been, like, farming for time shards or something. Like a wingnut. I have the tendency of doing that for reasons. So is there any reason to be down here? I don't... I don't know. I mean, I guess I can just kill guys for, uh, for time shards. Uh, do I try and go over? I don't know if this is a good idea. Oh no, it's fine. Get out of here. Reaper dude's just like, charge! Oh, enemies respawn if you even just so much as go off stage. That, or off screen. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. All right, uh, let's see. Internet problems are annoying. This is, fairies? Looks like the fairies are not harmable. Okay, well, let's go the other way. Uh, let's see, what do I have? I got 116. I guess I might as well get energy shuriken. I want the uh I want the health thing. Oh wait, never mind. Attack enemy projectiles, empower your attacks, letting you destroy enemy projectiles. You can even cloud stop step off of them. I should have been paying attention. Because yeah, that's way more useful than uh the plates. Okay.
Okay, so I can actually cloud step off of the uh, the fairies. Hmm. That did not go great. Dance. Sprites do not look good when you start wiggling them back and forth, by the way. <laughs> they really don't. I... Yep. Probably could have actually used that cloud step. Oh, that's fine. Everything spiky really does just look like a Dury in here. Now, we are understandably quite injured. However, we've got... we've got Heelys. We've got Heelys. I just gotta... Nope. That didn't work. And... That demon just killed itself. Oh wow, touching spikes hurts. Note to self, don't do that in the future. Okay, there we go. So the blue stuff, energy shuriken probably? I guess I'm supposed to jump from the other thing. There we go. And, oh, that doesn't heal me up to full. Well, we could always go back for the health gourd. Or I could just keep going forwards and be fine. I'm not gonna say this game isn't that hard. I'm assuming it is actually... I'm actually assuming it is fairly hard at various points. But I'm taking it flippantly for now. And the first trick about being flippant is everything is a lot easier than it should be. And it is. There we go. I... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's... It's... Ugh. When I play games, I'm usually looking for, like, immediate uh, and apparent mechanical density. And this really does feel like just a super generic if we'll pl polish platformer. And I, I think, you know, I, I go back to that thing of, you know, why did I quit this game? And the answer is just like, I think I just had no idea because the presentation is so immediate, like, this is a platformer. Are these little suckers just... These little suckers just jump off into the oblivion. Even despawn. Okay. So we actually want to try going the other direction. Aha! Filthy weird green creatures. You can't catch me. Okay, so what do we got down here? Oh boy. This looks fun. Ah! Oh right, I forgot about that little demon. Oh, a new customer! Oh, what happened? I almost died just there. Strictly speaking, you did. Huh? But how? My name's Quarble. Quarble? At your service. I'm the only one. I, I'm i the one you never would have met had you any skills. Oh. The gist of it is, I have a magic ring that allows me to control space and time. So whenever you're about to die, I will appear to stop everything and teleport you back to the latest checkpoint. Okay, what's the catch? Well, for one, you will still feel agonizing pain every single time. Huh. Also, I'm keeping track of your dead in my little notepad, so I'll stick around to steal your loot until e either we're even or I'm bored. Oh. I mean, I can let you die if you prefer. Huh. It seems we have a deal. Glad we see eye to eyes. Carry on then. Okay, let's try this again, but with less death. So he'll steal time shards. Yeah, I think I died previously. Hello. So it seems you're one to wander off the beaten path. What was that big green object? Oh, you mean that thing you just smashed instead of collecting? Oh. It's a power seal. There are many others like this one. To be totally honest, I'm not really sure what they do. 
I can tell you that fighting them all is optional. But if you're the kind of adventurer that likes to go for the extra challenge, you'll want to keep an eye out for the hidden rooms. And who knows, it may or may not unlock an overpowered upgrade. Anyway, I'll be in my shop. Yeah, I'm assuming those those blue bits are for uh, Power Shuriken. I, yeah, I can just come back. Probably make that. Yeah, we're good. Onwards! Oh. Those actually have a chance of holding healing items, too. Cool. So that means if I really wanted to, I, I can actually just farm quite a lot. Sadly, he just kind of snags all my stuff. Luckily, it's not too much. I wonder if he starts snagging more and more as you go along. He probably does. He probably just snags all... Uh, well, I don't know. I guess it's one of those that the prices don't seem terribly high yet. So maybe he just only snags like a little bit as you go along, but you only ever make so much. This guy's annoying. I guess... Oh, wait. No, no, no. Hold on. Really? That's... That's not a secret? It absolutely looks like a breakable block. I'm really... I hope we get a map at some point. I like maps. Okay, let's go back. Oh, what is this? What's with the big mysterious chest? It appeared when you smashed your first power seal. You still need to smash 44 power seals to open that. What else do we got here? Please don't touch the cabinet. Well, never mind then. Okay, so what can we upgrade? I can get a... Well, being knocked back to do an air recovery jump. Let's see. Reduce Corporal's Fine for saving your life by 50%. I think I'm going to grab the Energy Shuriken. Range attack, tap into your mind's key charges, allowing you to throw Energy Shuriken with Y. And I guess we might as well grab a second win while we're there. Let's see. Chat. Level boss. Looks like you're almost at the end of this area. Did I forget to mention that there's a giant leaf monster guarding the exit? Oh! You did. Ha <laughs> ha! Now look on your face. Don't worry, my dear adventurer. Leaf monsters only coming come out during a full moon. Oh! Oh, is it a full moon right now? Yes. Oh, that's... Oh, I didn't mean to. Well, uh, good luck. Okay, we're fully healed, and this looks like a boss. Hello, Midnight, or Moonlight Leaf Monster. Wait. It only comes out of the full moon. We should at least have, like, the full moon. Oh, God. Ow. Wait. Oh. I see. I'm probably going to die once or twice here. Okay, let's see if he's got... Yeah. Gonna drop down. I mean, he's pretty injured, but so am I. There we go. I was worried. I shouldn't have been worried. I didn't need to worry. Well, I am grievously injured. Do I have some health, or am I doomed? Or are we just going to a different level entirely? Oh, well, there's the answer. Eh, man, I don't, I don't have any funds to drop on anything. Now, let me guess. Rumbly platforms, rumbly platforms. Oh. Oh. Well, there's our answer. Down we go.
You scared me. I thought you were not dead. What kind of creature are you? You've never seen a phobican. Phobican? We are a tribe of builders, technically very hardworking, but every one of us is cursed by a unique fear, which we are named after. Oh, phobia. What's your name? Necro. Oh. Necro, so you fear the dead and somehow ended up in the catacombs. Ironic, isn't it? I fell while trying to repair the temple runes above and was instantly paralyzed by all this morbidity. Anyway, thanks for snapping me out of it. I really should get back to work. Okay, so don't fall into the death pit for obvious reasons. And make sure you kill every skeleton. I, I'm sh pretty sure it's a rule. Okay. So unfortunately, we, yeah, we've got to get the upgrade. We've got to get the upgrade that actually makes it so you can uh, regen key and health off of killing enemies. Sooner the better, probably. Because I'm going to be running low on resources. Hmm. Oh, I see. There we go. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, so what is this? Just health and mana and associated other things? Well, I guess key would be the uh, real word. Hello, never mind. Ooh, time crystals. Bust them up. Be lootful and multiply. Ah. For a second I read that as slothful and I got confused and worried. I'm gonna be honest. Ow. I forgot that was there. Well, onwards we go. At least I don't lose anything. I think that would probably be a, a harder sell. Yeah, it looks like he, he gets greedier as you go further. Well, at least we get to keep all the time crystals we grabbed earlier. So not that big of a deal. Okay. So take that thing seriously. This is not so bad. But take it seriously all the same. Hello. Why is there a bat in this room? Probably because of that. God dang. Okay, there he goes. I was like, he is stealing a lot. But the answer is, no, he's not. Question. Okay, so I can, I can kill skeletons through walls. Which makes, honestly, no sense. But... I ain't in the habit of questioning. Uh, no, I am in, ha in the habit of questioning things. It is a bad habit. Can you throw a shuriken up at where the bat is? Do you think you saw a sneak? I don't think I have the ability to throw up. No. Yeah, I don't have any means of attacking up. It looks like there's something there, but my assumption is it's actually that spike pit. Oh, can I slide down? I can slide down. Okay, that's handy. Oh, the enemies don't respawn here. Don't crush my ankles. That would be embarrassing and deadly. Spooky. I do not like getting uh, crusher trapped, to be totally honest, in these games. Always makes me kind of grumple. Hello. Let's see. So we could get underwater dash, boost forward while swimming. I want to save up for this, probably. What else do we have? Shurikens. Not bad. I feel like there's got to be more to this upgrade grade tree than there is. I think maybe that was one of the reasons why I was a little bit less interested in this is actually because the upgrade tree was so minor. 
Yeah, it was... I was real close to a death. You are not wrong. Ow. What am I doing? Well... Well, doubly, what am I doing? Oh, I could have just ducked that. No reason to panic. Oh, damn it. There we go. Why did I do the things that I just did? Why am I doing the things that I'm doing? I really need to take this this way more seriously. That's not gonna happen. Oh you can you can attack while crouched. Well, whatever. Taking things seriously will happen probably when I feel better. I've been feeling kinda icky for a while. So, oh, okay. Can I? Yes. I've been feeling kind of icky for a while recently, so it's kind of one of those where it's like, I don't know. Waiting for, uh, let's see, waiting for that to, to get better before I, like, Really commit to things, but still. I wanted to still, uh, Heroes of Hammerwatch complacent. Yeah. Yeah. That would actually be a very accurate statement. Whoops. Wow. My debt? It grows! Either that or he's gonna get really bored of me being in debt to him. I'm not really sure. Nor do I mind, because there's no immediate death penalty, apart from whatever my debt to him is. Uh, I'm not like immediately like, eh, I don't know. I need to care. I mean, I should. That's like always the answer. It's like I should care about not dying in these ga games, but uh... Yeah, I'm just here for some relaxy fun. I just just because? Let's see, do I keep the green seal? Yeah. Already half health. Those spikes hurt. I take them seriously. Which I have not been. But yeah, I'm 99% certain you get to keep the, uh, green seal. Ah, and there I go. I was trying to be cool, and then it's like, wait a second, I do not have that. Uh, I do not have the, uh, oh, I did get rid of him for a second. <laughs> Proud moments with Wanderbot. 